Shalom, shalom. Just want to give you guys an update on the tracker. Uh, 1648 Grizzly build, man. Let's talk about it. Glory to the Most High, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today we back at it. Yom Day 1, getting it in, man. You know, in the last video, man, I pretty much put in, uh, uh, I uploaded a video with me going to pick up the boat and then gave you just a walk around of it. Didn't really go over the uh, the details or anything like that. But today I'm going to do an a in-depth walkthrough and show you the progress that I made on it, getting this thing ready um for to get out there and get some crappie to get some bluegills to get some bass all right here you have it man i got the um the trolling motor installed on here it's a mini coda 45 pound thrust with the foot control right here and um i did all the wiring ran it myself you know it comes with these these three plates right here i didn't have to drill this one out um but this one was pretty much just taking the uh taking a drill bit and drilling the uh, drilling, drilling out the metal piece that's in there, the rivet, and then the same thing on this one. And this is the access panel that uh, you can use to get to to anchor this down and bolt it on the underside. That part was probably uh, the most tedious because I had to trim and modify this hole once I took the cover off. My arm kept getting stuck, so I had to modify it. But um you know, measuring everything, making sure you got, when you're deploying it, you don't have any binding, you know, making sure that you've got enough uh, cord for wherever you mount the um, the pedestal right there. So you can see the way that I ran it, I pretty much just ran it along the edge because when I went to use my, um, my cable snake, I kept hitting foam in the middle and it wasn't allowing me to push it to the back. So what I ended up doing was going to a uh, a speaker shop, getting some gauge wire. I want to say this is six gauge or eight gauge, getting some wire to extend it because it only comes with just this amount right here. They don't give you a whole lot. So I had to extend that. Um, what else? Pretty much put a, uh, a fishing rod holder in the middle. Put it in the middle. That way people can sit on both sides if they want to sit. Um, let's keep going. Also, I got this seat right here. So when I'm up here fishing on the front, you know, I can sit down and relax this nice millennial fishing seat right here with the uh, adjustable height post. Also put these buckets in here right here. That way, if you got pliers or anything like that, you can put it in there without having to worry about it falling or anything like that. Put one on both sides. And then I mounted the, uh, I'll show you the Garmin. It's the Striker. It's the striker plus four with the transducer. So uh, I pretty much got that mounted on right where I want it. And then uh, I ran all my cablings using these uh, these little anchors that I had and pretty much just zip tied them. Now I got the, uh, the battery installed in there. I'll show you guys that. And I pretty much took, uh, I drilled these battery mount uh, strap holders in there, put those on there both sides we're good to go and uh right now i'm in the process of charging the battery you can see i got the battery charger over there but um i ordered a 60 amp uh i want to say like marine rated fuse to put um on the trolling motor that way if the fuse blows you know i can just grab one of my replacements and put it in there if i got any issues and the the garmin came with its own uh came with its own fuse so we're good to go there so just letting everything charge right now and then uh the next project was putting this transom saver um transducer mount on so you pretty much sand it down and you epoxy it to the frame that way you're not having to drill through the transom that was probably about a uh, a twenty dollar twenty dollar rig that i ordered off of amazon good to go 
So that's got a cure for, I'm gonna let it go for about 12 to 18 hours before I remove the tape and then put the, uh, mount the, uh, the transducer on there. Also something else that I did was, um, when it comes to these off boards, man, you wanna make sure people can't steal your motor because these motors are $2,500 and up. So I took two locks right there and uh, just fishtailed those things together. So we're good to go. Let's keep going. All right, and then uh, got my anchor right there and then it's got a tie down right here. What else? I put these, um, these guide brackets on. That way, when you're putting the boat or loading the boat or unloading the boat, you don't have to worry about the boat fishtailing and going all over the place because you've got guides on there. All right. And then, uh, like I said, put another one right here. And then um, right here is the uh, when you're letting it into the water, when you're deploying the boat, you know, you got a rope to help guide it. So you can pull the pull the uh, pull the truck up out the water and be good to go. But there you have it, man. That's the update. You know, I got everything ready to go. I'll show you guys in here. Got the uh, the life vest, and I got some tools and stuff like that. Tools like that, and this uh, this chair right here, it mounts right in that hole right there, and you, you it's game on, man. So um, you know, charge the battery up. You know, I got one of these little tiny chargers, nothing big, man, because I'm only running one. But uh, once this this light turns, you know, solid green, we'll be good to go. And I know that battery is charged. This battery box is pretty cool. You know, um, nowadays they got USB ports on them. Right here, it's got a, uh, a USB port, so if you need to plug anything in. But um, back in the day, the only thing that these came with was just the uh, the test of battery power and then the circuit breaker. But now they've included that, um, that USB port. So this box is definitely well worth it. You know, it's strapped down very nice. I ended up having all of the connectors to use um, didn't have to purchase too many additional pieces to, to get this going, but yeah, man, I'm a, I'm a do it yourself kind of guy, you know, um, that's the, that's the joy in being able to do this stuff yourself. Cause man, if you would have took it to a boat shop, man, they're charging $160 per hour per hour. And that's, I'm not willing to pay that when I can take my time, you know, and, and get it done the way that I like to my liking. And I know how everything works. I know the inner working of it, but, um, yeah, there you have it, man. There's the tracker Grizzly 1648. Got those panels back molded up there with some self tapping, um, screws that would grab. I got to come along with my shop vac and vacuum all these metal shavings out. But, um, there you have it, man. Mercury 20, 20 horsepower outboard motor. And we're going to be ready for fishing season, man. We're going to be ready to get it closer to y'all ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight.